Oh, really nice rainbow, you guys. Oh, wow. Nighttime rainbow and a nice one. Oh, let's get him in the net. What's up, people? In this episode, we're going to be talking about fishing for trout at night, specifically brown trout. Let's get into it. The first thing we need to do is talk about how brown trout think. The second thing is we're going to talk about what gear to use. And finally, a few things on safety because it is going to be at night. And then we're going to go out there and we're going to catch a bunch of fish. Let's do this. Okay, you guys, so when it comes to brown trout, a lot of the bigger trout naturally feed at night. During the day, they oftentimes hide in deep pools, underneath rocks, underneath overhangs. And then as it gets darker outside, they come out of their layers, they come up to the shallows, and that's when they feed on bait fish or insects. The other thing that's interesting about brown trout is that the darker the night, the better. So you might be thinking to yourself, well, naturally, I like to fish on a full moon. That works great for bass and different species, but when it comes to brown trout, you want a very, very dark night. For whatever reason, the darker it is, the more aggressive the brown trout become. Another interesting fact about brown trout is that on a nice bluebird sky day, you might not have great luck during the day, but as soon as that light turns to darkness, that can actually trigger a really good bite um, because typically on a bluebird sky day, they're not gonna eat as much during the day. They're saving up for a really nice bite during the night. So when it comes to throwing different lures out there or different flies, don't be afraid to go big when, with brown trout. I have, I've actually caught brown trout on seven inch lures, guys. So size is not necessarily a factor when it comes to nighttime brown trout action. Typically, however, I do have a consistent size I'm going to share with you that catches the most amount of fish. All right, you guys, so let's go through a couple of tried and true lures that you guys can use when you go out and nighttime fish. The first one would be a Spook Junior, okay? Now, a Spook Junior, you can find it at Walmart. It's the most easy type of lure to find. Um, it's made by Cotton Cordell. It has rattles on the inside. It's also hollow, so that means that it'll float. And when you actually toss it out and start reeling, you twitch your pole. And when you twitch that pole, you get a side-to-side -side action, which is really, really good. When you throw anything out for brown trout, however, you want to do it slowly because they have notoriously bad aim. So they're going to miss it a lot, okay? So if you go really fast with your twitch, it's not going to work. If you go really, really slow and you're very calm and consistent and you cast and cast again, you're going to catch lots of fish. Typically, I go with the bone color and I also try to buy the ones that say salt water on them because they include a salt water hook. If you just go with your standard freshwater hook, these bigger brown trout are going to bend it out. It's not going to be good. You're going to lose hooks. You're going to lose trout and ultimately you're going to have to replace those treble hooks anyway. Do yourself a favor. Get the salt water hooks first. All right, you guys, this next lure is called a wake bull. Um, I discovered this one two years ago and it is a really, really effective lure. Now my personal favorite lure when it comes to fishing at night for brown trout. It's more of a throw out and retrieve type lure. You can still stop and pause typically, no matter what you're throwing. If you pause that lure, typically that's when the brown trout are gonna hit, okay? Um, but the thing that makes this very effective is that it makes a nice big V-shaped wake in the water and it uses a lot of that disturbance in the water to kind of get the, uh, the, the trout's attention, right? Um, it also happens to have rattles, okay? That's also a huge thing when it comes to brown trout is sound, right? Don't be afraid to make splashes. Really throw out your lure aggressively. Even though you're working it slow, when you do work it, make sure it makes splashes on occasion and be sporadic. Don't be consistent because brown trout love the, the, just a frenzy. They love splashes and it really helps them key in on what's going on. All right, you guys, so here's a new setup for tonight. I have not actually fished with this yet. And I'm very excited about this because when I use the Spook Junior or the Wake Bull, what I've been trying to imitate is actually a mouse. And tonight, I have ordered mouse lures. Um, this is one of those things that's kind of notorious. goes hand in hand with night fishing for brown trout. People call it mousing. And it's where you try to imitate a mouse on the surface of the water swimming on the top. So I've got this really cool lure made by Kingfisher. Um, and I am just dying to get this thing out on the water. It floats on the surface. It's got a big fin in the front to make sure there's a big wake. And just like everything else, I'm going to throw it out. I'm going to bring it back, but I'm going to stop and I'm going to pause it occasionally. I'm going to go really slow. I'm going to see how many fish I can catch on it. The next things I really like to use are big spinners. Um, I personally like to use a number four Blue Fox Super Vibrex. It creates a lot of disturbance in the water, a lot of vibrations, and ultimately helps a lot of those predatory fish like brown trout key in at night and strike hard. The last thing we're gonna talk about is actually live bait. I like to use large toughies at night with a glow-in-the-dark bobber. Typically, I use a balsa wood bobber with a glow-in-the-dark tip. I also have about two to three feet of leader that leads up to a size six bait hook. Um, sometimes, depending on current, I'll also add a split shot, one or two, 
down the line just to make sure that my bait stays in the proper water column where the fish are hanging out. Um, so all of these techniques, they work really, really well. I'm excited to show you guys all of the different ways that you can go night fishing and where you can have a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys will be able to use some of these techniques, some of these lures or some of these ideas and apply them to your own adventure so you guys can go and catch a ton of brown trout or rainbow trout at night. All right, you guys, so the first thing we need to go over when it comes to nighttime fishing and safety is always tell somebody where you're going. Number one rule, always tell somebody. So I've already told my wife where I'm going tonight. I've also texted a friend and I said, hey man, I'm going to this spot and then this spot. These are the times I expect to be out. This is when I expect to be home. Um, and hopefully by telling someone where you are, it'll actually help people find you if something goes wrong. All right, you guys, when it comes to nighttime locations, always go there during the day first. Scout the location, be very familiar with it before you go at night. It does not pay to go to a brand new location at night when you don't know what kind of dangers are around the next corner or around the bend. Be safe, go to places you're familiar with, and make sure you don't make a major mistake. The next thing that's really important is always make sure you have some sort of lighting gear. A headlamp is typically what I take with me. And I also try to take one that has a red lamp as well because a lot of times when it comes to different lights that trout can see, they can't quite see the red lamp and it doesn't cause disturbances like the white lamp does that we all use. Guys, the next thing is always have some sort of safety device on you. For me, because I'm going out in a kayak, I'm going to be wearing a life vest, but make sure you have some sort of flotation device nearby or on you so if something were to happen to you, you don't sink and drown. The next thing that I like to bring with me is a waterproof container to put all of my important materials like a phone. If you were to flip your kayak or fall in the water because you're waiting and your phone gets wet and you're in trouble, you won't be able to make that phone call to get help. So you want to make sure you have a waterproof case to make sure your phone is protected. I'm to a pretty good spot here. I'm parallel to the bank. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just check to make sure I understand exactly how this lure works in the water. Oh yeah. Perfection, yeah. So it's going to be a slow retrieve. Let's see what happens, you guys. Fish on, guys. Fish off. Yep, fish on. Shoot, still on? Yeah, he's still on. We got a fish on, guys. He doesn't. No, uh, he doesn't feel big, but he's on. All right. So first brown trout on the mouse lure. That was pretty awesome, guys. First brown trout on the mouse lure. I love it. All right, let's let this dude go. Let's catch another one. Oh, man, that was exciting. Ooh, fish on, guys. Heck yeah, on the spinner blade, guys. See if we get a... Okay, it's another brown trout. That was cool. Just smacked it, guys, right on the corner of the lip. But man, that was cool. Heck yeah. Whoa. Careful now, careful. Check it out, guys, another beautiful brown trout. Let's go ahead and let him go. Get this spinner back in the water. Oh, fish on. Got him. Fish on, guys. Whoa. Here at the boat. Here we go. Get him in. Okay. What do we have here? Brown trout number three. Holy smokes. Man, you guys, that was pretty intense. <laughs> he hit suddenly and without warning. That was awesome. Hope you guys can see this. Anyway, let's let him go. He hit like a tank there. That was cool. Ooh, fish, fish on guys. Keep it tight. Ooh, nice feeling fish. Heck yeah, guys. Heck yeah, nicest brown of the evening so far. Beautiful fish, guys, right on the lip. Awesome, guys, check out that beautiful brown trout. 
Absolutely love it. Beautiful reds. Let's go and let him go because there's plenty more coming up and I don't want to miss out. Oh, here we go, guys. He got popped. Let's see if he goes under now. Here he goes. There he goes. You got him, guys. Fish on. I'm going to get my headlamp on, guys. We've got our first fish on on the live bait. A little angry trout here. We've got a brown trout, of course. That was epic. That did not take long at all. He took the toughie, no problem. So yet again, another brown trout. We've done artificial on the top. We've gone to artificial on the bottom. Now we're doing live on the bottom. And look at that, guys. Check that out, guys. Another brown trout, beautiful, beautiful fish. Let's go ahead and let him go. Get another toughie on. Here we go, guys, he just got popped. He's getting popped, here we go. Oh my gosh, the biggest gust of wind of the night. Got him, fish on. Woo. Oh man, nice, nice brown here. Let's get him in the net. All righty, you guys, so here's another beautiful brown trout. I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. Oh, there he goes. Oh, fish guys. Fish guys, here we go. Got him. Fish on guys. Another brown trout. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, our first rainbow trout of the evening. All right, so we got a little rainbow in the mix. As it was splashing around, it made me think brown trout, but now that I'm next to it, definitely a rainbow right on the edge, guys, right on the edge of the lip. Beautiful little specimen here, guys. Beautiful little trout. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and let this guy go down in the water there. And let's go ahead and get another bait on. Oh, fish on, guys. Here we go. Got him. On cue, guys. Right on cue. Oh, really nice rainbow, you guys. Oh, wow. Nighttime rainbow and a nice one. Oh, let's get him in the net. Corner of the lip, perfectly embedded in there. And man, this guy's feisty. He is just rolling like a crazy alligator. So, second rainbow trout of the evening and the biggest fish of my uh, nighttime fishing adventure so far. Look at the beautiful rainbow there, guys. I give this one the nod on 15 inches, but heck yeah. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Super pumped about that. Let's let him go. Nice release down here in the water. And he is off down to the depths. <laughs> that was cool. Got him. Fish on. Smallest fish of the evening. Another little bitty rainbow, guys. So the rainbows are picking up in this section of the river, which is pretty cool. All right, you guys, so a little bitty trout, um, but nonetheless, beautiful, beautiful trout. So let's go ahead and let him go. Got him. Fish on, guys. Holy smokes. Get him out of these weeds. Woo. Oh man, another beautiful rainbow. The wind is pushing me quite literally backwards, which is not fun, but got another nice rainbow one. So that was pretty cool. Right, I mean, guys, I don't know if you can see that, but right on the edge of the lip, guys. When you use a float like that and you're using live bait, it makes it super easy to do that. Let's go ahead and uh, check out that beautiful rainbow and let him go. And uh, here we go into the bank. <laughs> All right, you guys, there is definitely a fish over here feeding. I don't know how big he is exactly, but he's over here feeding, which is really cool. He's already on him. Yep, it's gone. Oh, missed him again. Please tell me it's still on. Yes, I still have him. Guys, there's a super active fish right here. Loved in on this if we can catch him. Got him, guys. I actually got him. Yes. It's a little, it's a little brown trout, and man, did he make me work for him. No, you guys. Wait, what is that? What is that? It's actually a rainbow trout. All right. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and give this uh, trout a release real quick. He's definitely a lively guy. He wants to get going, and uh, he, he's off. Mm -hmm. 